tigers. Hi friends, today we are going to learn all about tigers. You can read along with us by downloading this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What is a tiger? Tigers are large mammals known for their strong bodies and orange or white fur with black stripes. They have sharp claws and teeth, powerful muscles, and keen eyesight. They usually live in forests, grasslands, and even swamps throughout Asia. The most famous kinds of tigers include the Bengal, Siberian, and Sumatran, all of which have adapted to their different environments. Most tigers are solitary, which means they like to live alone. Unlike lions, which live in groups, tigers usually only come together to mate or when a mother is raising her babies. Each tiger has a territory or land area that it marks with scent to keep other tigers away. These territories help tigers find enough food and have enough space to survive. Female tigers, called tigresses, take great care of their young cubs. A tigress will give birth to about two or three cubs at a time and keep them hidden in a safe den. She nurses them with milk and teaches them essential survival skills, like hunting. Cubs stay with their mother for about two years before they are ready to live independently. This time helps them learn everything they need to know to become strong adult tigers. What do tigers eat? Tigers are meat lovers. That means they're carnivores, animals that eat only meat and never plants. Their diet includes deer, wild pigs, and smaller animals, such as rabbits and birds. They need a lot of food to stay strong and healthy, so they usually hunt animals with a lot of meat. Sometimes, if they are very hungry, they might eat fish or even reptiles like lizards. They have no natural predators because they are at the top of their food chain. In other words, they are apex predators. Tigers are excellent hunters. They use stealth, which means they move quietly and slowly to sneak up on their prey. Their powerful legs and sharp claws allow them to leap a long distance to surprise their prey. Tigers usually attack by biting the animal's neck with their strong jaws. This quick and decisive attack helps them catch their food efficiently. After a successful hunt, a tiger will drag its prey to a hidden spot to eat in peace. Other interesting facts. A tiger's stripes help it blend into its surroundings using camouflage, making it easier to sneak up on its prey. Did you know that no two tigers have the same stripe pattern? Every tiger has a different stripe arrangement, just as humans have unique fingerprints. Even if you shaved a tiger, which we don't recommend, you'd still see the stripe pattern on its skin. How cool is that? Most cats don't like water, but tigers are excellent swimmers. They can paddle across rivers and even enjoy a good soak on a hot day. They use their strong legs and webbed paws to swim long distances. Scientists call this ability aquatic adaptation, which means their bodies are built to move well in water. Swimming also helps tigers stay cool and travel between different parts of their territory. Tigers don't just roar. They have many ways to communicate. In addition to growls, moans, and chuffs, a friendly tiger puff sound, they use body language and scent markings. They might roar to warn others to stay away, but they will chuff to greet their cubs. Tigers even scratch trees and leave behind scent signals to let others know, this is my turf. Why are they important to the environment? Tigers play a significant role in keeping nature healthy. As apex predators, they are at the top of the food chain, which means they help control the number of other animals, like deer and wild pigs. This keeps the forest balanced, so plants don't get eaten too much. When tigers are healthy and strong, it's a sign that the whole forest is doing well. Sadly, these beautiful wild cats are endangered, which means there are not many left in the wild. Their homes are being destroyed by people cutting down forests, and some people hunt tigers illegally. This is called poaching. Today, there are only a few thousand tigers left in the wild. But the good news is, 
that scientists and wildlife helpers are working hard to protect them by saving their habitats and stopping poachers. We just learned some terrific tiger facts. Let's review. Number one. Choose the word the author would say best describes the tiger. A. Herbivore B. Ordinary C. Solitary D. Plentiful E. Nocturnal The answer is C. Solitary Number two. True or false? Tigers are terrible swimmers. If you said false, that's the correct answer. Number three, what are some ways tigers communicate with each other? Roaring, body language, scent marking, and sounds other than roars, like growls, moans, and chuffs. Well done, tiger experts. Remember, you can find this and other great animal-themed lesson plans on our website, learnbright.org. See you next time. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.